Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I have a beauty haul. This is a kind of a collective haul. This is stuff from my the Sephora VIB sale and just stuff that I picked up at like Ulta, Walmart, and Target. But let's just go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna pick things out as I like see them because I just have them in a box. Everything that is on my face is in this haul which is like a full face first impression. First thing are these lashes. The Salon Perfect number 110s. These are probably my new holy grail lashes because they're dramatic yet still natural. I just love these. A powder that I got is the Ulta Beauty Finishing Powder, a lightweight matte finish in the shade Translucent, just a translucent powder. I have the banana shade of this, so I thought I'd pick this up because that is a little too not brightening enough. Got some skincare stuff. I got the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. I've been using this and honestly, it's like, it does the same as if I put like a zit cream or anything like that on. It just doesn't dry it up like everyone says. It makes it so it dries up, but it doesn't dry up overnight. And then on Ulta, you can get like a special on it. You got a, like a sample of this mask. This is the Super Collagen mask. I have not tried it yet. I picked up some brow products. I repurchased my favorite brow pencil of all time. I was just running low so picked up an e.l.f. brow pencil in taupe. I got an essence brow pencil. You guys will see my first impressions and how I and how I feel about this in my next video. I got the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Mascara. This is still too light for me to like just use this on its own. It's like a quick everyday makeup. And it works pretty well to set the brows. Then I got the Ulta Beauty Brow Tint in Medium. Lots of shade right there. It's the darker one. They had, I found a shade of like this type of product in between these two it'd be like the perfect brow like tinted brow gel for my eyebrows for like a no makeup day because even if I don't put on like foundation and all that I at least put on brows because I have none my brows are like the color of my hair pretty much I got a lip liner this is the Sephora lip liner to go in the shade vintage pink I have this like underneath my lip color and it's just like, it's like a pinkier version of the NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner, which I love. I really like the formula of this. I got the Smashbox and Casey Holmes Spotlight Palette in Pearl. It's not like, it's not a blinding highlight. I don't know how I feel about it yet because I, I did just try it today, but I have it on top of something else that is like really blinding. This is what it looks like. Like when I see Casey use this, I'm just like, but when I use it, I don't really know. I got two different eye primers, bases. The first one is the Maybelline Master Prime Long Lasting Eye Shadow Base. This just to me feels greasy. And I got the Prime and Smooth one. To me, it just feels greasy. And I had to like double check that this wasn't like the, I think it's the Prime and Illuminate one because it has like a little bit of a sheen. And then the other is the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer in the shade Nude because I know they have other shades in this as well. This is what it looks like. They were having like a deal. I think it was like buy one get one 50% off. Which right there. I'll have to test this out a little bit because I just barely opened it. I got a concealer. This is the e.l.f. HD lifting concealer in the shade Fair. 
it is too dark for me. Like it was, it's darker than my foundation. And this is the lightest shade. I do like the consistency. It's like, it feels like nothing, but it's just too dark for me. And it did like cover pretty well. It's like not like the most high coverage. Um, and like all the claims on it seem like amazing. I got another powder. This is the Maybelline Shine Free Loose powder in the shade light. Can they not come out with a translucent powder? Trying to find something to replace my NYC loose face powder because they don't sell that in the States anymore. Like, next thing is a foundation. This is the foundation I'm currently wearing. I wanted to get some more foundations because I would wear the exact same ones every day. And this is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation in the shade Warm Porcelain. This is my shade. I'm wearing this today. It does dry pretty fast, but I really like this foundation so far. The lip color I'm wearing is the Elf matte lip color in the shade natural i thought it was gonna be more of a peachy nude but it's not the same shade it's right here it's just like a cool pinky nude not really into those types of colors under this lip liner i like it because it like kind of bounces it out i just repurchased the sephora beauty amplifier on the set and refresh spray. I believe I bought this last summer. I think it was my end of summer beauty haul. I love this stuff so much. Like it's as refreshing as taking a nice long sip of ice cold water on your face. I got a mascara, the e.l.f. I know I got a lot of e.l.f. Sorry. This is the e.l.f. Lash X mascara it's a really wet formula it's not my all-time favorite mascara but it was nice like for today because i just apply the lashes on top another like eye base type of thing i got the elf beautifully bare smooth matte eyeshadow in the shade nude linen it's a liquid matte eyeshadow it says to nourish and hydrate can i just say i like the packaging of elf it's very sleek even though it's like more on the cheaper side not saying it's bad just on the cheaper side of cosmetics it feels almost like nothing and it dries down pretty well the highlight that's like really glowing is this I got the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in the shade Celestial. I like the eyes. Not like. Like is an understatement. I love. I got a the L'Oreal L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible Foundation Blender. Literally how it sounds, blending in your foundation. I don't like this. Here's a bead blender. Yes, it needs to be washed, but listen. It still has that sound, but it's for the most part dry. This still has some water in it. The sponge is just really hard. It just doesn't blend foundation out. Well, will I ever use this? I don't know. I got a Elf Blush and Bronzing Powder, the shade of Turks and Caicos. Yes, if you guys have seen this or own it and you pro have deeper skin tone than me, you're probably like, Maddie, why did you get it? The blush is really pretty and I did use the bronzer. I just used a really light hand. And it still worked. What was I thinking? It wasn't because I didn't read any reviews. 
I'm just like, ooh, I like this. I'm gonna buy it. Me, with things. Why, Maddie? Just why? I'm gonna just finish off the elf and then wait to like the grand finale. I got a primer. This is the elf poreless face primer in clear. I do not like the scent of this whatsoever. I mean, it did do a really good job at like covering, like concealing the pores. I will still use it. I just can't get over the scent. Like Then the last thing is a foundation. I've not tried this foundation yet. This is the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Porcelain, or it's now called Natural. It does have sunscreen. And the nice thing about Elf Cosmetics is that you can now purchase it on Ulta.com. And for the grand finale, I got the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Like, it's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. If you know me, I love peach. This is just something I needed in my life. And it smells like peaches. I'm excited to play with all this makeup. I don't know why it looks like I'm out of focus. Probably because I am blind as a bat. But that's everything that I got in this like end of school year beauty haul. Let me know when you guys get out of school. If you guys are still in school because i still am and i'm so done with it i mean i only have like two weeks and this will probably be put up after i'm done with school because i'm so behind on videos but if you guys liked it go ahead and subscribe to my channel or give it a thumbs up or both if you guys have any video requests you can leave them in the comments down below or at me on my social media which is all under sassy maddie yt same what's spelled here both twitter and Instagram and let me know something you've purchased recently or if you have tried any of these products let me know what you think of them in the comments down below and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye